Hi, kamusta kayo? Uh, so here I am uh, starting uh, something uh, new. Um, naisip ko na to start itong series na ito. Uh, this would be coming out first muna sa RLCC online. Uh, and then uh, later on sa ating page, Real Life Christian Communities. Uh, at uh, ganun din naman, uh, it would come out siguro most likely uh, in my news feed. So, ano ba itong uh, balak kong gawin na ito? So, basically, uh, naisip ko na ipagpatuloy yung uh, uh, pagbibigay ng devotions uh, sa inyo. Uh, kasi naisip ko dahil sa extended yung ating uh, lockdown. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure patuloy pa rin yung ating mga prayer groups. Uh, patuloy pa rin yung ating mga online uh, share groups. So, naisip ko na this would be a great time para... Uh, tulungan ko kayo at bigyan ko kayo ng uh, continuous na ano, feeding from God's Word. Now, uh, na-realize ko na medyo challenging yun. So, kaya ang uh, naisip ko gumamit ng isang uh, tool na mas magiging madali para sa akin to do this. Kasi yung ginawa ko last week, yung daily uh, na Holy Week devotions was uh, you know, pretty challenging to say the least, kasi meron pang mga, you know, uh, record pa ako, tapos uh, may editing pa yan, and, and all of that, so may production pa, so it's really quite uh, you know, challenging. So itong uh, ginagawa ko ngayon, I'm using a uh, new software, uh, yung StreamYard. Uh, I'm still using yung free uh, version nito dahil uh, hindi ko pa kayang <laughs> bayaran ito on a monthly basis. Uh, $20 uh, a month ito, uh, for me to remove uh, yung pinaka logo nila and as well as yung mga other features para ma-access ko. But anyway, I'm starting with this uh, free version. At, uh, uh, you know, feel free to ano, to comment as I, uh, you know, share. This is live, by the way. So, hindi to recorded. Kaya hopefully hindi ako masyadong magkamali as I'm doing this. Uh, yun nga yung naisip ko kasi sometimes pag nagre-record ka at uh, nagkakamali ka so you redo it you know, over and over again minsan nakapat ako na three times, four times you know, mga four takes <laughs> ngayon na-appreciate ko na yung mga artista siguro it must be very hard for them although hindi naman ako artista but anyway uh, today as I start off with this ano, uh, tawag dito yung uh, panibagong ano na ito, uh, program if I may call it. Ano ba ito? Uh, vlog? Vlog ba ito? Podcast? You know, all of the above. Uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll be sharing from God's Word and uh, of course this will be recorded in a month. So I hope to be able to post it and repurpose it in other uh, platforms. So uh, feel free to comment, you know. Uh, mamaya titignan ko yung mga comments ninyo. And, and by the way, para ma-identify ko kung sino yung nagko-comment. I hope na pipindutin nyo yung, ano, yung uh, streamyard.com uh, backslash uh, Facebook. May link dyan sa description. Uh, so para sa ganun, pag uh, tinignan ko yung mga questions and comments ninyo, uh, you know, afterwards I'll be able to identify you. Otherwise, ang uh, lalabas lang dyan, Facebook user. Okay? So, um, ano ba pag-uusapan natin today? Uh, we're uh, going to start uh, yung series ng Real Life Journey kasi naisip ko what, uh, what uh, would be a better way to really spend our time uh, during lockdown uh, but to really talk about yung, yung journey that leads to real life. As you well know, uh, I really believe na yan yung purpose ni Lord, uh, yung real life uh, in Christ together with others. At uh, naniniwala ako na understanding yung journey na yan and uh, participating in it and cooperating with God by His grace would be the best thing that can really happen to anybody's life. So uh, today, ang ating pag-uusapan as we begin, pag-uusapan natin yung what is the meaning of salvation. Okay? This is a very important topic, uh, I believe. And uh, a lot of people don't really understand it. 
And uh, sabihin ko na sa inyo, you know, right at the start na some people think that salvation is just simply about going to heaven when you die. Now, for sure, mayroong ganong uh, aspect ang uh, salvation. And uh, we know na uh, pag tayo ay, you know, namatay na, if we are uh, believers in Christ, then we can be assured of the fact that we will be in God's presence. But uh, even the idea of heaven is misunderstood by a lot of people. But more importantly, yung salvation is more than just going to heaven after you die. As you're about to understand in this particular uh, no, uh, session ng ating ano, uh, pag-uusapan. Another, I think, common mistake is that people think na salvation is just about forgiveness of sins. And of course, that's very important pag-uusapan din natin yan. But to think na ito ay may kinalaman lang sa forgiveness of sins is really to miss out uh, on the, the, the holistic uh, nga, value of having a relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. So kung forgiveness of sins lang ang pagkaintindi natin, uh, then that would be a, a major, major iganga kakulangan uh, in our understanding. Now, remember, ang, ang faith is not just about uh, believing or even being committed to what we believe in. It's really uh, about understanding the truth and knowing the truth. Okay? Ibig sabihin ito na uh, what is important, uh, he gets a lot, is not just may, mayroon tayong faith because you can actually believe anything you like. Ang importante is to have knowledge uh, na foundation ng ating belief uh, and then we are committed to that no? Uh, as a result. So ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is knowledge and I hope and pray na pag naintindihan nyo to, you would be able to believe ika nga correctly and not just believe whatever you like. So, uh, let's start off with prayer. Uh, manalangin tayo. Uh, bow your heads. Uh, you know, close your eyes. Uh, and, and join with me as we ask the Lord for His grace. So, Father, salamat po, uh, Panginoon, uh, for this uh, opportunity to study your word. And I pray, Lord God, na itong pag-uusapan namin would be truly helpful for each and everyone who want to not just believe, but believe correctly and believe uh, rightly. So, dalain ko sa lahat ng hindi pa nakakaunawang maigi kung ano ba ibig sabihin ng kaligtasan o salvation. I pray na itong pag-uusapan namin would uh, somehow help each person na nanonood dito at nakikinig dito, Panginoon. Uh, maraming salamat po sa tulong mo, Lord. So, help us uh, by your Holy Spirit and open our eyes through your word, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. All right. So, ang, uh, ang ating... Uh, tatalakay no pag-uusapan is uh, from 1st Peter chapter 1 uh, verse 3 to 9 and this was written of course by the apostle uh, Peter at ang mga sinusulatan niya at that time were going through some very hard times uh, very difficult times and he wanted to encourage them by reminding them uh, of the gospel na kanilang uh, pinaniwalaan o pinanindigan and very important yun, yung kaligtasan natin sa Panginoon must be so clear sa atin kasi especially now with the pandemic and uh, lockdown or you know enhanced uh, you know community quarantine, whatever you call it. Uh, sa panahon ngayon, where there, there's really a lot of uh, things going on uh, around us, you know, surrounding us, and even inside our hearts, na kapag wala kang solid foundation sa knowledge mo about the truth, uh, you know, you can try your best by your willpower, you know, sabi mo sarili mo, I believe, I believe, pero kung walang laman yun, uh, I don't think you'll be able to uh, overcome yung adversi- adversities na inaharap natin ngayon. So we'll be looking at uh, First Peter 1, uh, 3 to 9. Uh, and so Peter here is going to, uh, you know, uh, explain to us yung three aspects of uh, salvation. Na napakahalaga. So let's let's uh, begin and let's try to understand that. Okay. Now, uh, sabi sa no sa First Peter one beginning in verse three, sabi ni uh, pa- Apostle Peter, uh, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. 
So like I said, uh, you know, just yesterday during our celebration of Easter Sunday, na napakahalaga ng resurrection as really part of the gospel that uh, we have embraced. And so yung, yung resurrection in Jesus Christ, the power uh, that, uh, you know, uh, raised him from the dead is the same power that transforms uh, people's lives. Sabi ni Peter, uh, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So ang, ang source, siyempre, ng salvation is uh, God himself, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus is the mediator, it's through, through him that we experience yung uh, salvation na yan. Kasi it is really the gospel or the good news about Jesus Christ that helps us or enables us to understand yung plano ng uh, Panginoon uh, para sa atin. Okay? Uh, and sabi, in His great mercy, uh, He has given us new birth. So the mercy of God ang siyang pinanggagalingan o basihan ng salvation na ating na, na, natanggap. And this involves the new birth or being born again, having a new start. Ika nga, it's a new kind of start sa buhay natin. And, and uh, it's very important na maintindihan natin yung, yung idea na sinasabi ni Peter na uh, this is a new birth. No? Just like pag tayo ay pinanganganak, that means we are born into a, a life that we would eventually live out, no? Yung, yung buhay natin, of course, is, you know, starts with our birth. Now, spiritually speaking, yung ating spiritual life also begins with birth. Pero ang tawag is new birth. Uh, and then, sabi niya nga, uh, into a living hope. So, therefore, itong uh, buhay natin ngayon is basically anchored on the hope that we have, you know, at sabi nga ni Peter, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So, now we have hope. Now we have something to look forward to. Bago natin narinig yung gospel, of course, uh, all we really knew was that, gaya naman narinig natin siguro, uh, this life, this physical life is really all that we have. At kapag namatay tayo, well, that's it. Tapos na lahat. Kaya mga tao, because yun ang belief nila, ang kanilang uh, philosophy is to eat, drink, and be merry for, you know, basically tomorrow you die. Kaya, you know, uh, essentially, itong uh, paniniwala ng mga tao na to is detrimental sa why a lot of people uh, are trying to grasp at anything to make their life significant. Well, the truth is there's nothing really that you can uh, hold on to in this life that can make your life significant. Ultimately, it's only God at yung kanyang salvation uh, through Jesus Christ that can really alter yung buong ano natin, life natin so that ngayon tayo may hope tayo ngayon uh, in Christ Jesus na alam natin hindi tuldok o hindi period yung death but simply a comma you know, into a new dimension of uh, existence now hindi pa tapos yung binabasa natin sabi and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade you know, that's something na kailangan maintindihan natin na yung salvation na ating tinatanggap through faith in Jesus Christ is not something na pansamantala. It is something that uh, we can be sure of kasi hindi ito nabubulok, hindi ito nabawala, hindi ito nananakaw, hindi ito something na, you know, parang napaka-fragile na pwedeng mawala sa'yo, okay? So, it's, I think, very important. So, uh, the first ano, dimension, itong salvation uh, that I believe Peter is talking about, is that it involves our past. Okay. Now, I'm talking to people who I assume to be born again or Christians now. So, you know, so we're looking at the past. And uh, there is a definite point in time that a person experiences salvation. So, this is called being born again. So, it has to do with hearing the gospel and then uh, understanding it and then having a decision or choice of your will to believe in this gospel to receive it and embrace it and uh, pinapakita mo yan through you know uh, water baptism and god confirms it naman through giving you the gift of the holy spirit uh, we'll talk more about that later pero merong definite uh, moment in time in your past uh, that uh, itong salvation na to begins 
Now, of course, kung hindi pa kayo Christian, if you're listening or watching, and you really cannot say for sure na may nangyaring ganun in your past, well, that means uh, it's either now, it's going to be now, or in the future pa, because maybe you have not yet understood or fully embraced yung gospel about Jesus Christ. And that's my hope na sana itong journey na to would eventually lead to that uh, if you're that kind of person. So that's the first ano, uh, first dimension at all. It has to do with, it involves our past and definitely it's about being born again sometime sa past natin. Although some people cannot identify for sure when was it exactly na nangyari yun. But there's usually a memory sa past natin of a turnaround sa life natin. Uh, perhaps naririnig na natin yung gospel siguro but there's a definite time that we talagang fully uh, embraced it and decided to be a follower of Jesus Christ. So that would be, uh, I could, we would consider to be the time. Although not exactly para point in time, it could be a series of events sa buhay natin. So let's continue. Um, sabi rin ni Peter, as we look at it, you know, it's the next verse. Uh, this inheritance, sabi niya, is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. So itong inheritance, you know, so in other words, synonymous with salvation, tinatawag din inheritance, uh, you know, of course, this, this, is, this has something to do or it involves our future, okay? being with God uh, forever. And of course, this is what people normally think about when it comes to salvation. Yes, of course, na doon yung aspect na yun, but we'll talk more about kung ano ba, you know, we will unpack that later on. So, it is kept in heaven for you. And, and heaven does not simply mean parang napakalayong lugar, you know, na parang sasakay tayo ng spaceship para puntahan natin. But uh, definitely, it's uh, re- a reality na Kumbaga, it uh, uh, corresponds to our time, pero at the same time, different dimensions. Yeah. It's the reality of God's uh, domain or God's presence. And, and heaven, of course, is everywhere because God is everywhere. Now, we'll, we'll talk more about that. Uh, but very crucial is the you know, na itong ating uh, uh, salvation na ito. It's not something na parang, you know, uh, parang hawak-hawak lang natin ngayon, depende sa fate natin. Uh, but really, it's a gift. You know, inheritance is more like the idea is parang a, a gift. You know, uh, sabi, sabi niya in verse 5, who through faith, okay, so may responsibility tayo ron, are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. So, meron tayong future na inihintay where everything will just be uncovered. Now, it doesn't mean na wala pa sa atin ngayon yun. It does mean na uh, later on it would be revealed for uh, what it is. So, merong ano, may dimension ito. It involves the past, but it also involves the future. So, I remember uh, way back in uh, 1982, that was the time. It was a series of experiences na eventually I came to the point na na-realize ko that uh, I haven't really put uh, my trust in Jesus Christ. Now, prior to that time, I, I was basically searching and seeking and trying out uh, all kinds of religion. Meron pang mga astral traveling yun ako mga pinag-gagawa ng araw. And, uh, and, and, you know, I, and I was, of course, lost, you know. And meron siyempre implications sa buhay ko. I, I was going through a lot of uh, problems and I was a slave to sin, I was a slave to uh, drugs and all of that. So there came a point and I remember it was 1982, I was 22 years old, hindi ko alam exactly yung, yung time. Uh, buhay pa nun yung uh, sister ko na sumulod sa akin, si Jogi. And, uh, and so I, you know, I uh, basically turned my life to Jesus. And uh, since then, you know, I became a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, but a wonderful thing that really ha- happened, of course, is that nagkaroon ako ng, ng hope. At uh, hindi lang hope, but uh, really it, it's something na yung assurance. But it was not, you know, parang di mabilisan yung realization yun because there were times that I would fail and I would 
sin and I would, you know, uh, be frustrated sa sarili ko. But uh, eventually I realized na yung salvation na tinanggap ko sa Panginoon at that time and looking forward sa, uh, you know, sa future, I, I realized na hindi yun parang napaka masela no fragile na panagkamali ako magkasala ako suddenly wala na you know it's kept in heaven and to be assured like ito sinasabi ng verse na to that I am shielded by God is a great encouragement I believe uh, para sa atin and especially for those na kausap ni Peter during that time who were going through some very difficult uh, experiences na tayo rin naman sa panahon natin ngayon uh, life is hard and of course there's a uh, of fear, uh, lalo na, and extend yung lockdown, and people are wondering, uh, you know, abot pa kaya tayo, tatagal pa kaya yung mga resources natin, uh, can we actually uh, survive itong ano na to, lockdown na to, but at the same time, alam naman natin it will be too soon, you know, I think it will be too soon, but so para sa akin ang opinion ko, if this is going to be lifted up by the end of the month, it might be too soon, I think. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Although, you know, some of you might be saying, "I know, you know." Well, here's the here's the thing. Nagusto kong share sa inyo. Um, when you come to understand that your salvation mo is assured, okay, and uh, you know, some people call it, uh, you know, eternal security. But we'll talk more about that. But there's the, the other side, of course, and that's of course by faith, you know, as we trust in the Lord. But the point is, uh, when you know that uh, God has given you an inheritance, you know, your salvation mo is is kept in heaven for you, you know, tapos you are shielded, you know, by God's power. Uh, there is really hope in your heart as well as na, nandun yung, ano, yung, yung faith, okay? Uh, na you are shielded, you'll be, you're perfectly safe. Sabi nga ni Dallas Willard, in God's great universe, you know, I, I love that uh, quotation by Dallas Willard, you know, that we are perfectly safe in God's great universe. So, uh, let's continue. So, the first uh, dimension is, uh, it, it, it involves uh, the past, okay, our past and about being born again. And uh, secondly, it involves our future, uh, being with God forever. But let's continue on, you know, basahin natin yung susunod na, na verse. Now, sabi rito, in all this you greatly rejoice, uh, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief uh, in all kinds of trials. Now, so in the meantime, so meron tayong past, we were born again, we are saved uh, by grace through faith. We'll talk more about that. Tapos, we now have a future. Alam natin we will be with God forever, right? Uh, kung tayo ay mamatay right now, we will be with God. Uh, in the presence of God in heaven um, or you know the Lord would come and, and we will still be with him so either way we, we will be with him uh, forever so ang tanong is in the meantime ano ang mangyayari so that's what we are reading right now sabi niya in all this you greatly rejoice <clears throat> so sa lahat ng uh, lahat daw ng bagay ano ba yung this na tinutukoy niya of course, that you ni Peter in context dito, it was, was the, you know, the persecution and suffering and, and pain that, that Christians were going through during that time. And today, ganon din naman. We are going through the same thing. We are, we are going through trials and testings and tribulations and, and mga thorns in the flesh of boy natin. You know, I'll talk more about that later. Pero meron din tayong ganon. So in all this, sabi ni Peter, you greatly rejoice. So rejoicing is really part of the Christian life. Kaya laging tinuturo sa atin na rejoice. You know, I'll say again, rejoice. In everything, give thanks. You know. uh, of course, it's a, it's a spiritual discipline. I'm not saying na pag tayo ay born again, automatically we will rejoice. But it's a process wherein uh, as we go deeper and deeper sa understanding natin. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, well, I, I'm sorry. I, I realized that yung salitang in all this, okay, could also be referring dun sa inheritance uh, natin, okay, or the fact that we are saved and secure in Christ. I think, you, you know, probably uh, meaning of that as well. No, I'm not just, you know, uh, it will be, yeah, too limiting to say na yun lang mga suffering. But 
suffering in view of the fact na sila ay shielded by by God. I think that would be the correct way to understand it. So you greatly rejoice. So yun yung characteristic no? The more you go deeper in your understanding that you are perfectly safe in God's great universe, uh, ang result niyan is of course uh, uh, joy. So though now, sabi niya, for a little while, you may, have had, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. Now that's interesting, no? Uh, you can have joy, but at the same time you can have grief. So how could that be? Well, because they are not simply just emotions, okay? Uh, they are more like a state of the soul. No? Now, may emotions na kasama doon, but essentially it's about the state of our souls, the, start, you know, the condition of our souls. And grief, grief, of course, uh, alimbawa, pag ikaw ay, uh, you know, na, namatayan, you, you, you feel the loss and you feel na something, you know, has been taken away siguro or somebody important. And so it's really more like a state of the soul. And kaya nga yung mga nag-grieve, kahit na minsan matagal na, pag naalala nila yung, ano, yung tao na nawala na, they will begin to feel sorrow again. So it's more than just an emotion. It's really a, a state of longing of the soul parang not yet home or a soul na parang hindi pa you know, narating yung, yung rest, parang ganun. So in, in a way, there are two aspects, yun, and we'll talk more about that later. Now, the rest that we actually experience the moment we uh, come to faith in Jesus Christ, okay. At yung also the other side of it, na meron pa rin parang we're still longing for for something else. So in between that period is uh, there's a lot of grieving, a lot of uh, parang sorrow and sadness. Uh, pero at the same time, di naman nawawala yung joy, okay. May mga trials. Let's just, let's just read on and then I'll tell you kung what I believe on itong dimension na to. So these have come so that the, the proven genuineness of your faith, the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire. So let's, let's just stop there now. No araw, I think even now. <clears throat> Ang ginto, of course. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> Ang ginto, of course, has to be purified through fire uh, para mawala ibang mga, you know, uh, elements that are not necessary for it to be gold. <coughs> but, however, sabi ni Peter, mas greater yung faith. So kung fire, ang gold, you know, purify through fire, uh, how much more yung faith, sabi niya. Pero ang, ang pag-purify nito is basically, importante is to prove the genuineness of faith. In other words, you know, uh, hindi ka tinetest para mawala ka ng faith. Tinetest ka so that yung faith mo talaga would be proven to be true. Uh, you know, something na very important natin maintindihan. It is to the glory of God that uh, we actually believe in Him and trust Him. Uh, this is not something that God can force upon us. This is something uh, you know, that God uh, would want us to decide on because He is trustworthy, God is trustworthy, He's making promises to us, but He cannot force us to trust Him. Kaya yung faith natin sa Kanya is our, you know, our choice and our decision. And whenever we trust Him, we actually glorify him because we show by our trust that he is trustworthy or he is true. Now, sabi pa niya ni Peter, any, uh, and, uh, may result daw, sabi niya, in, in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. So, naka, you know, juxtaposed or nakakombine dito yung future aspect na darating si Jesus and uh, when he comes, of course, then yung faith natin would be vindicated and, you know, sabi niya, uh, in the end, God, uh, Jesus will be praised, he will be glorified, he will be honored, you no, know, by our faith. So, really, very important yung ano yung, uh, remaining steadfast and remaining faithful uh, as we go through, you know, various kinds of trials and testings in life. Uh, again, sabi ni Peter, uh, though you have not seen him, sabi niya, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him. 
uh, you know, this is something na nangyayari or should be nangyayari at the present time that we become more and more in love with God through Jesus Christ. So our love for Him, you know, uh, increases and, and becomes even more, sabi natin, uh, deeper. Uh, you know, uh, when it comes to to love, that that is ultimately the the goal. Eh? Kaya nga, three things always remain in the Christian life. Uh, you know, faith, hope, and love. So love is really the the most important ikang barometer ng ating spiritual life. Uh, we can only be so mature as we are able to love God with all our hearts. So if we don't love God, kahit na may knowledge tayo, yung knowledge natin is not really helping us. So, ang sinasabi ni Peter dito is that one of the things na nangyayari in the present time while we are awaiting yung future aspect ng ating salvation is that we should actually be growing in the love of God. Let's read on. Sabi niya, and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. So, this is what I've been saying. The joy that God gives us is not something na nasa emotional level lang. It's really very deep. It's in the deepest part of our soul. Kaya nga, it's inexpressible and glorious. Sabi niya, For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your soul. So, ang goal is that we would become more and more, you know, through our uh, perseverance in the faith, as we overcome trials, as we continue to focus our eyes on Jesus. So, ang mangyayari noon is that, um, you know, we our love for God uh, grows deeper and deeper over time. And this is really, ito yung pinagmumulan ng lahat sa Christian life. Yung obedience natin, yung pagsulod natin sa Panginoon, it's really all coming from from love. You know, that's very important. So the the third, the final dimension, of course, is it involves our present, yung present time natin, yung spiritual transformation natin uh, on a daily basis, Okay. So this thing, you know, is something that you know, was not clear to me in, in the past. But as I grew in the knowledge of God, I came to understand. Ito yung, really, this is the, the present on, ongoing work of the Holy Spirit sa buhay natin, preparing us, okay, for a wonderful future. And how we cooperate with God in that process is really crucial, no? So uh, daily, sa pagsunod natin sa Panginoon, we are transformed. You know, from glory to glory. Uh, some people might call it discipleship. Uh, that's possible. Yeah, lang, a lot of people don't understand what discipleship is all about. We'll talk more about it. Uh, pero, yeah, it, it could be called Christian life. That's true also. Pero, you know, sometimes hindi malinaw. So, let's stick with spiritual formation because that has to do with the work of the Holy Spirit in our spirit in transforming us and conforming us into the character of Christ. So, yan yung ano, three dimensions, okay? Yung three dimensions. It, it involves our past, you know, being born again sometime in the future. Tapos, it involves our our future din naman, okay? Uh, of being with God forever in the kingdom of God. Uh, and then, finally, yung pangatlo, it involves our present, you know, yung spiritual transformation natin. So, if I may summarize it, okay? Uh, you know, uh, Salvation has to do with our entire lives, okay? Uh, past, present, and future. It involves our entire life. For you to think now salvation is just about going to heaven, well, that's the future, that's true, pero nakalimutan mo yung, you know, yung past and present. Doon. Or to imagine that it's only about forgiveness of sins. Again, that's a parang a misunderstand, you know, mis- mis- misunderstanding. Uh, it involves more than that. It's more It's more than just forgiveness of sins. It has to do with the daily work of the Holy Spirit in transforming us. All right? Amen. Now, before I go into your comments, let me just share some, uh, uh, okay, some discussion questions uh, for you, okay, uh, that I hope na magagamit niyo as you reflect upon uh, this uh, lesson. So the first uh, question is, uh, you know, how did you understand salvation prior to hearing this talk? I mean, just share in your group, you know, in your online prayer group or San Mankeo, uh, what was your understanding? You can be honest. It's just about forgiveness or going to heaven when you die or after you die. 
or something else, okay? Uh, so this is very important. Uh, again, yung faith natin without knowledge is really very weak yan. Hindi yan, not, hindi yan maka, ano, uh, overcome ng mga adversity. So, discuss natin yung ating previous understanding. Tapos, uh, pangalawa is what did you realize about salvation uh, now that you've heard this talk? An ano ngayon yung parang na-open sa'yo? What have you come to understand? about salvation as a result itong ginag-usapan natin, right? And then, uh, how would you apply what you've learned, okay, now that you know that what salvation is all about? So I think it's a bit crucial, all right? Uh, if you, know, you already know these things, praise the Lord, you know, then give thanks to God because you now have a full understanding of uh, salvation. If you don't understand it, maybe, you know, this is something na alam pag isipisipan mo. But how how would you apply this? Okay, what would you do uh, as a response? Okay, sa natutunan mo. Amen. So these are the questions that you can talk about in your online prayer groups or uh, share groups. Now, let's go to some Q and A. Tignan natin kung merong mga Q and A rito, right? So let me see, right? Again, uh, well, ano ba nangyari? Uh, well. Uh, Merong God bless Pastor Bong. Okay. God bless you. Kaya lang, hindi mo na-identify sa sarili mo. Um, next time, if you're going to watch this, please i-click nyo yung link na nakalagay na streamyard.com backslash uh, uh, Facebook. Okay? Para makilala ko naman kayo. Malama ko malala at least yung pangalan ninyo. I, I don't know. Alright. Uh, tapos, uh, yeah. Ito, which, uh, watching, watching. Watching here pala ito. Watching here. Uh, PB. So, whoever you may be, thanks for watching. Okay. Tapos, uh, oh, si Sister Nilda, watching din. Okay. Now, I was hoping that you would ask some questions, uh, pero mukhang walang mga questions or comments. Okay. Who's this next uh, person? Let's see. Okay. Uh, the next person, <laughs> amen. Okay. So, thanks. Amen. All right. Okay, mga comments nyo. Wala masyadong tanong. So, maybe next time you go. Okay. Uh, and then, maayos yung audio at video po ninyo, PB. Well, thanks again. Well, let me just remind you once more, no, na para ma-identify ko kung sino man kayo and I can interact with you. Uh, please, i-click nyo next time na mag-comment kayo, i-click nyo yung streamyard.com backslash uh, Facebook kasi yun nakalagay sa description para, you know, ma malama ko kung sino kayo. All right. So, for si Sister Nilda lang ang kilala ko dito. Hi, PB. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon to you, okay? And maybe good evening then for those of you who will be watching it later. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so, Don Tarcelo po. Ah, si Don. <laughs> Don, click mo yung, ano, i-click mo yung uh, streamyard.com backslash uh, Facebook na link. I don't see description it post na ito. Well, uh, I think wala na yata tayo rito. Yeah, meron pa tayo rito. Amen. Well, salamat po. Amen. Well, I appreciate all of that. Thank you po uh, for watching. Uh, so I guess this would not be very long. Uh, so uh, I will be doing this. Ewan ko kung kaya po to araw-araw. Hopefully. <laughs> Pag-pray niyo ako if I can do this every day. Um, but uh, yeah, 3 o'clock would be inaisip kong best, best time to do it kasi, you know, tulog ang mga tao, tahimik ang mundo. <laughs> and I suppose na yun ang pinaka-best time. Okay? Uh, it depends. All right? So, so ngayon, ganun yung gagawin natin. Uh, join with me again tomorrow. And uh, remember, uh, i-click nyo yung link na nakalagay na streamyard.com backslash Facebook para ma-identify ko kung sino kayo. Oh, I, I have another comment dito. Alright? Ano to? PB, uh, can I discuss this LG po namin? Ah, of course. Yun naman ang purpose talaga nito. Okay? Uh, pa, for you to be able to share this, eh, ba? Uh, da ilalagay ko ito sa ano sa what do you call it sa sa page natin yung you know facebook.com backslash rlcc feel okay doon ko lalagay yan para shareable kasi pag nasa group yan hindi shareable yan okay so anyway uh, ano pa ba sino ba ba nagko-comment dito watching here pb well again i'm sorry di kita kilala ko sino ka please click niyo yung uh, streamyard.com backslash Facebook. Okay? Para medyo magkakilala tayo. Sige. Uh, yeah, si Don. Thank you, Don. Finally. Okay. 
Ah, uh, 3 o'clock habit. Oo nga no. Maganda. 3 o'clock habit. That's a good suggestion. Lagay natin 3 o'clock habit. Okay. So, uh, as believers, ano to? Uh, we uh, as believers already we need to reassure ourselves so we can be able to reach out uh, more to unbelievers. Yeah, of course, definitely. Uh, kaya nga sinasabi ko, um, one of the common misunderstanding kasi ng maraming Christians is the is the is the uh, you know the, the false uh, idea na ang mahalaga lang is yung faith or belief a uh, belief ah uh, importante yan it's an act of your will but you can believe anything you like diba <laughs> parang yeah uh, that's the problem kasi when when we believe, when we put so much ano uh, parang emphasis on faith you know basta maniwala ka lang basta maniwala ka lang the problem is ano pinaniniwala mo that's the whole point so what i'm trying to teach you here is yung faith mo magkaroon ng laman, you know, na magkaroon ng knowledge. Because you know, alright? When somebody knows something, iba yun eh, right? Uh, in fact, uh, you know, in all of life, alright? Uh, I'm sure, you know, hindi tayo magpapagawa ng sasakyan dahil isang mekaniko na sasabihin niya, well, nakagawa lang ako ng sasakyan, swertihan lang yan. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think that dalhin natin sasakyan doon. Or, you know, papagamot ka sa hospital, sabihin sa'yo ng doktor eh, Well, nakapanood ako ng ilang YouTube, you know, so basically pwede na ako mag-opera ng inyong mga utak. Uh, you know, I'm just exaggerating. Basically, we need knowledge in our faith. We need, we need that, okay? All right. So, uh, thank you for, for watching. Uh, it's now 3.41 sa time ko, all right? And uh, so, kung wala nang magko-comment o wala nang magtatanong, I'll be closing this now. Uh, once more, I'll try to, you know, do this live every 3 p.m. every day, hopefully. <laughs> Unless, of course, hindi ko kaya. But do pray for me na makayanan ko para naman yung ating mga online prayer groups or LGs, whatever you call it, ay magkaroon ng, you know, substance, magkaroon kayo ng gabay. So do use it, all right? And do share it. Um, in whatever way, watch party, anong gamit, gawin niyo ito, gamitin niyo ito. So, uh, lalabas ito sa Get Real app din, of course, which means marinig din sa Spotify, sa mga uh, iba't ibang platforms. Uh, you know, lalabas din to sa ating uh, RLCC online, ano, uh, other platform natin. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. But uh, anyway, uh, salamat, okay? Uh, oh, meron pa ba? Meron pa natira? <laughs> okay, meron pa. Uh, we need this knowledge. Tama. Ano ba ang pinaniniwala mo? Sa panahon na ito, marami na uri ng gospel. Well, uh, well said. Well said. Well said, uh, Don. Uh, I hope na, na, na we can convince more people na lalo na yung mga believers to have substance dun sa kanilang pinaniniwala. Not just parang faith lang or even commitment lang. But really, ang basis talaga is the knowledge of the grace of God. Okay? So, yun. So, uh, again, uh, let me close in prayer. Uh, Lord, thank you for this opportunity to uh, go online and uh, to share your word. Salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanood. And thank you, Lord, uh, that we were able to do this for the first time. And I pray na, Lord, uh, gamitin mo itong tool na ito in whatever way you want lord and i pray na more people can hear it and understand it uh, so that uh, lord uh, people would truly come to the knowledge of god and they would trust in jesus as their lord and savior at uh, uh, this would result in their salvation Panginoon. so maraming maraming salamat po heavenly father thank you once again uh, in jesus name amen amen So, maraming salamat po muli sa inyo. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. It's a date, okay? 3 p.m. again. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right.